Hey guys, my name is Samsonite and welcome back to Vampire. Now, Dimitri is the reason that I play games the right way, or Michaela is the reason, like I played Undertale the pacifist route. Well, look what Dimitri had to say to me last night during a Terraria recording session, which is a future uh, uh, future series on the channel. Here's what he had to say. Okay. So, how am I not supposed to go on a murder spree now? Just so you know, if you are unhappy with the choices from here on out, I'll, the, he's, you know where his channel is, you know how to get to there. So, <clears throat> the district's in critical status, but here's the thing, that's fine with me now. I think. Oh, these are investigations. See, I got this and this. I am going to track that one. Oh, it's this way. What was that noise? What is that? That sounds horrible. I'm kind of nervous to see what that is. Oh. Just a regular bro ham. Yum 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 yum. I thought it was like a boss or something, like this like that sewer monster thing. It wasn't though. That was easy. Alright, so uh, the main quest is closer, so that's where I'm gonna... Oh, we are in critical status, so... How do I get over there? How do I... You don't get to warn me, bitch. Imagine how strong I'm going to be after I go on a vicious murder spree. Die, bro. That wasn't hard at all. What are you? Oh, you're a fire executioner. It's kind of cool, actually. I... How can you tell that just by looking at me? Is it my eyes? <laughs> is it my... 29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? Opium! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, damn. Codeine and opium. What is... Oh, damn. Someone got, like, murdered hard. What do we got in here? Ooh, shiny box, shiny box. Ooh, shiny stuff. I love shiny stuff. Oh, wait, we, we gotta look out this window. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Me. I can't get out there. Okay, so I gotta go out and around where the bad guys are waiting for me. They're not really bad guys now that I'm thinking about it. They're just trying to protect themselves from an obviously hostile force. I need a better weapon. I want, like, a, a badass weapon. I don't think I have that. It's locked. Why? Why? Everywhere I need to go is always locked. So, there's a possibility I will kill every living person in this game. 
Now, thanks to Dimitri. Like a full on, like true. Because I know there's four endings to this game there's the dark ending, there's the, there's the good ending and the bad ending, then the really good ending and the really bad ending. Kill absolutely no one, kill a handful of people, kill the majority of people, kill every single person. I might be striving for the evil extreme. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. I, I genuinely like a lot of the characters. But at the same time, I've never done a full dark playthrough of anything, and this seems like the game to start with. Wait, this is where I'm supposed to be, right? Sir, step away! No! Why did it get all laggy there? Oh, wow, I did something. Stop calling me a leech. Do you? I'm pretty sure it's fine if you don't stop me. I'm swinging the wrong way. Ow. Got you, bitch. That did not do as much damage as I wanted. It ain't compared to just beating the shit out of you, I guess. Oh, that sucks. You died. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. That's what you notice? This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. So a vampire is targeting me. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Take it. I see you. Who are you? Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. I like that. So, was that a baby? Was that a baby? There are no babies here. A rusty box of pills? Your boxes should not be rusting. Why are you keeping them in boxes? Not bottles, stupid. The cat's. Yes. 
I see you. I see you. Don't think I don't. I won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. I'm ping ponging across They've districts. All been butchered. That's fine. It saves me effort. They're juicing me up, man. Is this about to be a boss fight? I accidentally. Yep. <coughs> oh, wait, wait. Wait. Hold on just a minute longer. The side quest is here. I'm working on it, bruh. I gotta. I'm gonna. You all right, my name is Zhao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Zhao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity, some way to remember my dear Matthew. Okay. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? This part of town is very fragile. I hope the trust so many people put in her will not be betrayed. You should go home now. No, not yet. I miss my dear Matthew so much, and I can't forgive myself. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. How your husband died, Xiaoshu. Man, died the Spanish flu, like so many others, aggressively. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly. Even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it's it was. It's not her fault about that, we though. We laughed about it, even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent need to shout others need company and some just can't stand it thank you for your sincere words dr. Reed I sense you trying to help me even if I don't quite understand because it's the side quest are you a doctor yourself is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband no I am not 
but I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could I say did. she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. I will see you later. I think I've asked her everything. Goodbye. I could eat. The world has gone completely mad. What I'm gonna do is cure her and eat her. Because... Help me, please! You! What have you done? Not Larrabee. What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! <coughs> Son of Perdition! Vicar! Vicar! Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son, returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello. Jonathan? Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan... How are you awake? First and last word at dinner. The entertainer? The star of our show? Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole There's in my cat. chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then, speak. Hey, Tangy. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. Come here, buddy. My child carried oh. away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Hmm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. Oh, there are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 no!
<laughs> this is what I do to those I cherish. Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. How did I accidentally make you awake? Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. I saw that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head. I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. And this time for good. Wait, though. Wait. Ow. Ow. This is sad. That did a lot of damage. Whoops. What's this I'm hearing about uh, Vampire getting a TV adaptation as well? I'm gonna go back and kill her, bro. Hang on, I gotta eat this guy. Wait a minute! No one told me that would happen! <laughs> I didn't mean to cause problems. You killed me, brother. I did do that. It was an accident, though. I just... I thought that he was a rat! Come to me, Jonathan. He wasn't a rat, though. Ow. No. Well, I mean, what else was I supposed to do with you? I didn't know you were gonna wake back up. Ow. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Abomination. Don't call me names. I think I missed. Ow. Oh! Shit. How did you know that was me? <laughs> I didn't know she knew that was me, and now I feel a little bit bad about... Killing Sean Hampton. I, uh... I'm gonna destroy the world, I think. How do I get back where I'm supposed to be? If I run back in here, will everything just be where it was? Well, he's alive again. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Shit. Not your own Mary. 
Give me your blood, priest. No, that's my blood. I want that. Final thoughts are just Okay, hang on now. I'm just gonna go like reckless abandon straight forward at her. Because, because I kind of want to die now so I can eat the priest. Because if he's going to die either way. Stupid, stupid cats. I have to go fix that. Yikes. Should have used that to heal instead. Again, what was I, what else was I supposed to do with you? I can't just bring you with me. So close, so close. Everything's going bad and wrong. Got her. to bring this conversation to an end forever you know I will not play this game come now doctor like a rabid dog or think you're performing an autopsy don't be ridiculous I'll kill them all the kind dr. Swansea the sweet little lass with hair of red I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. Okay. Forgive you. What do I do with her? She's supposed to be dead. Am I supposed to be doing something right now? Oh, I'm supposed to be walking. And we're walking. Well, that was messed up. Easily the most messed up thing. I thought she was going to be like the final boss of the game for a minute there. Then I realized... Probably my maker, honestly. Oh yeah, I can just stop and start. How did your box get so high up? Do they not bury them six feet down? Hail Mary. That's funny. A few nights later. Can I evolve now? I've got a lot of points. I accidentally ate a priest. It killed my supercharged evil vampire sister. Who I made on accident, apparently. He, she didn't drink my blood, though. I don't think. So, I don't understand that. Blood. Yes. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. I think he just likes blood. 
I'm in chapter four now. All right. Ooh, an invitation. <coughs> Whoa. A great hunt. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going I'm gonna upgrade stuff. Uh care for a cold. So I can go eat what's her face? Um uh, okay. No oh, wait, I was gonna upgrade weapon. Can I upgrade the big big thing I've been using? This this. I need good handle part and the answer is no. Alright, what about this stuff? Oh I can recycle stuff? Oh, do I get good handle parts from any of this? Good handle. Good handle. Good handle. No. Okay, hang on. I am going to rest up. Um, what do I need? I need more stand in a minute. Uh, Two thousand. I have to be level twenty to get that, but I'm almost level twenty. All right, now let me up my health. I'm now level twenty. Holy shit! Okay, um. Where's my ultimate? That uh, shadow, that thing that comes out of the ground. I think it's this. Yeah, I want more of this. Oh, I can't yet. All right, well I'll save this then. I'm level twenty. I upped three levels. What happened? They're almost in hostile territory. That's just because of him. Dimitri told me I should. I don't know why I listen to Dimitri as much as I do. But he t he's like, you know, Sam, this sounds like a good idea. And then without even questioning it, I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then I do it. And then I... I'm stuck with the consequences. This seems like a... I, I, I always end up with the... Uh, sepsis. Uh, and we were talking about it last night uh, when we were recording, but I, I, I always have that... Um, the mindset of, this is a problem for Sammy and Dimitri in 10 minutes. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to do what I want to do. Okay, I gotta get across there, so I gotta go to the right of the way I'm facing and use the bridge. <laughs> this game is like kind of oh. oh you don't see me. Hey, I'm helping you. They kill the beast. They've got, like, strong stuff now. I feel like that's because this place is on the verge of collapse. So I'm just gonna... Whoa. What are you doing here? I'm gonna kill you. Must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. 
This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. What? Who? I insist you be quiet. I insist you be quiet! Son, do you not see? You are the healing bath. I had to kill Mary! I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! I'm tired of all these puppet shows. So... What are you doing? Hey! War. I'll show the war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. I'm going to kill you. Die already. Mm. It took longer than it needed to. I have to go and visit the lady. What are we doing? She got like a quest for me now or something. It's locked. Why is it locked? Okay, look. That's where I need to Oh wait, wait, wait. If I just turn around oh. I need to get on the other side of that gate. Let them fight. I don't really care. Um, I gotta find a way to get around, which sucks. <clears throat> this is a long ass way around, and it is the only way I can go. Nope, I'm not dealing with it right now. I saw easy pickings in the in the in the health of the one dude, and now I'm in trouble because I have to deal with all this. No thanks, no thanks, no thanks. This is a dead end. How is this a dead end? Must have missed something back here. This map's confusing, man. I probably should have ended the episode after fighting my sister. That you can't really top that. Oh well. I'll go a couple more minutes. I'm gonna see if I can get to Lady Ashbury's mansion. And go. I need to go back and around. Oh, can I go through the roof? Like maybe there's like a balcony I can jump out of or something. Like this. Except facing the proper way. That sucks. This is the way I need to be going. This way. You're kidding. I thought I couldn't pass through that. 
Well, you win some and you lose some. Where did he go? He just disappeared. There's supposed to be a body. <clears throat> Where's the body? So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. We're gonna go see what she wants to talk about. Man, I'm hungry. I was talking about feeding on blood and stuff. Makes me hungry. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. Last time I talked to you, it took like eight and a half minutes. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Well... My sister Mary... She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force... for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. Well, she was also murdering like everybody. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. Dracula did it! Dracula did it! <clears throat> I felt this power 
radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. I don't like that. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world. Stop talking! Now, you guys talk too much. Please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house <laughs> is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. I think that's Please, the simple things. Call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. They have done nothing but impede my investigations since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the Guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. I do want to know who my maker is. <clears throat> like, bad. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct an alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor? And call me Elizabeth. I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. 
finally he still didn't news in these dark he still hours. didn't thank you I appreciate the advice I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now how thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh so to speak something tells me you're not very keen on the man don't get me wrong the gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated <laughs> I see as long as they deny access to female applicants, I will oh. have empty deluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan. Why not let women in? That's uh that's who I'm going to meet. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean really look at me, young Ekon. Are vampire hearts supposed to be beating? We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. I'm starting to sense a romance. Tangy, Tangy. Sorry about that. Tangy's a dick. He doesn't understand boundaries and hobbies and cats. Cats are bad. I think. All right, I'm going to find a safe place and save and quit because Michaela will be home soon. We have a couple things to do, and then she goes back in for a second shift at work. I'm os I'm on what I've been calling boo-boo vacation, because I fought on the stairs at work. Messed up my knee a little bit. It's fine, though. It actually is genuinely so, fine. Time to visit the Ascalon Club. How about instead... Yeah, I just go the way I'm facing. <clears throat> and go to this uh, safe house up here. Save house! What's with the grumbly growls? I cannot enter. I'm starting to really get angry at this I can't enter bullshit. Okay. You again. I don't care. Beware. Oh, good lord. Keep out. No. Good kill, bruh. Recognize him. No. This one ain't on our list. Well, that's one less anyway. It'll make McCullum happen. McCullum. Is that like Belmont? That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. There's beasts and shit in the streets, man. It's kind of hard to miss all the bad shit happening. I'm trying to find that safe house that's right around here so I can save and end the episode. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Is it this way? No. I have to sneeze. At you. At you. <clears throat> it's up into the. It's to the left here. Wait. Yes. It's right around here. A new hideout in this district. Let me in it. I think we have to kill these boys. 
Oh, someone needs assistance. I am greatly outmatched by level in this place. What the hell? Why is everyone mean to me? I just want to get in that safe house so I can stop and save. If you're not strong enough, remember the blood of citizens. What do you think I'm going to do with the citizen that's asking for help? Dimitri wants a dark playthrough. I've always been, I've been fighting the urge to do a dark playthrough. Now that I'm being encouraged just the slightest bit, I'm willing to do it. <clears throat> So let me in so I can get to the safe house and save. I'm gonna win this time. I'm definitely gonna win this time. Why is your health so damn low? Oh, come on now. Now I just gotta find my whoop. I just gotta find my way there. Ha ha. ha. Reed's mansion. This is my home. Who are you? Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan. I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said... Her body was found near your sister's grave. I was there, bro, I know. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. I don't have hints. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. Is this my bedroom? Awesome. I want to upgrade this because it's the only good weapon that I have. Um, well, either way, that's it for this episode. We found my house, though. I have a butler and everything. Yeah, I want to crank up the damage on this. Wait a minute. I can max out my stamina, though. Yeah. My stamina's maxed. And I'm level 21. Rrr. All right. Next episode, I might start killing people. I'm not supposed to. Whoa. He's got bronchitis. I can cure him. I might do that real quick. Just because I feel bad for him. Where is the cure for bronchitis? Where's my friend? Where's my bootlar? Oh, there he is. Avery! Avery! Alright, dude, look, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna end the episode now. I'm gonna go back in the room. I'm just gonna... Okay, so the next episode, we're gonna cure his bronchitis, first off. And then we're gonna do a whole bunch of... Probably some murdering. Alright, 
be sure to check in for the next one because I want to see you there.